At this hour, we're learning more about a fire at the Port of Galilee and three commercial fishing boats were damaged. We brought you live coverage of the breaking news all morning long, and now we can tell you the area is considered a crime scene. Let's get right to Ivan News reporter Madeline Wright for the latest live in Narragansett with the mobile newsroom. The first boat that caught fire is right here at this dock. The damage was so extensive and firefighters had to use so much water to put out the flames that the boat, as you can see, sank. And now it's leaking oil, so the Coast Guard is hoping to contain the spill with these orange booms. Now, the other two boats that caught fire are right next to each other, less than a mile from here at a different dock. Local, state, and federal investigators, including the ATF and the Coast Guard, are investigating these as suspicious. Environmental Police Lieutenant Lieutenant Joseph Posha tells me all three commercial fishing vessels caught fire within a short amount of time, sometime around 1 or 2 o'clock this morning here at the Port of Galilee. No one was hurt, but the boats are heavily damaged. I talked to one of the boat owners who's a squid and fluke fisherman. He saw his boat on fire and watched it sink into the water. Oh, I'm out of work. I do own a, a vessel service. Uh, I unload the fishing boats, the big boats down here. And I have a small apartment building, but I'm definitely out of work. Terenzia says the community is supporting him during this difficult time with a GoFundMe page to help raise money. As for the investigation, authorities are seizing the first two boats that caught fire, including this one, as evidence. No word when they will raise this boat. Live in Narragansett with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.